When COVID hit really hard last year, we were asked to transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online in absolutely no time. The one tool that really helped me was my Microsoft Teams meeting link. I not only used my link for online classes, but also for my screen recording, for my review sessions, and much, much more. Now that we are back to face-to-face, -to -face, I miss my Teams meeting link. Hey, my name is Bumani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I will be showing you how to integrate your Microsoft Teams inside Canvas, attend those meetings or those sessions without downloading your Teams app. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is integration of Microsoft Teams inside your Canvas. So here I am in my Canvas sandbox. I'm going to click on Pages and I'm going to go ahead and add a brand new page and I'm going to say Sample Teams page. And all the way on the right hand corner, you have this little plug icon here. Let me go ahead and click on that. And here you have Microsoft Teams. If you don't have this in your Canvas, all you have to do is click on View All and search for Teams and it's right here and I'm going to click done and as soon as you click it's going to ask you to sign in so let's go ahead and sign in once you signed in it's going to ask you to create a meeting link let's go ahead and create I'm going to say sample meeting why not I'm going to leave the date and time the way it is I'm going to go ahead and click create and here I have an option to copy this and paste it wherever you want and you also have an option to set your meeting options let me go ahead and click on that I don't want anybody to bypass my lobby. I want the chat only during the meeting. Actually, you know what? I don't want the chat at all. And here you have different options. I don't want the videos. Once you're satisfied with all your options, let's go ahead and click save. And now let's go back to the canvas and I'm going to say copy and it automatically copies into your page. Now here you have created a Microsoft Teams meeting link inside your canvas page once this is done. And if you want to notify them as a to-do list, let's just say this is a recurring meeting or this is a, a review meeting for your classes and you want this to be displayed on the calendar, all you have to do is add it to students to-do list. And I think I have selected November 5th at 4 p no, 5 p.m. And I'm going to say done. And now it automatically gets added into the calendar. Once everything is done, I'm gonna click save and publish. And now let's go ahead and click on the meeting and see how it works. I'm going to click on it and, and I am not going to download anything. I'm going to open this through the browser and I'm going to click join. And here I am inside my Microsoft Teams meeting, even without downloading my Teams app. Now here you have an option to record your meeting as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and record this one and I'm just going to pretend like I'm talking something and I'm just going to let it run for a couple of seconds. And once this is done, I am going to go ahead and stop the recording here. And I'm going to end my meeting. So as you can see, students don't have to download the Teams app. They can join your Teams meeting directly through Canvas. Because I've recorded my meeting, I want to go ahead and add the link inside the same page. So I'm going to click on edit. And here I'm going to go back and click on that plug icon, which says app. And here you have to sync it to your Office 365. Remember, all your meeting recordings will automatically be saved in your OneDrive under recording folder. So once you sync your Office 365, let me go ahead and click on that. I'm going to scroll all the way down to recordings. And here I'm going to pick a sample meeting and I'm going to click attach file and I am going to save it. So when my students get to this page, they see the sample meeting and they see the recording as well. So when I click on it, and here you can see that my students can automatically see my recording that has been recorded in my Teams meeting. Now the second tip I'm gonna talk about is how to use your Microsoft Teams meeting link just to record yourself and have your recordings inside Canvas. 
I'm going to use the same meeting link that we used before. As you know, we have created a meeting link. I've recorded myself using the meeting and now I do not want the meeting link to be available, but I just want the recording to be available to my student. All I have to do is click on edit and simply delete the meeting link and click save. This way, my students only have the recording of the meeting and not the meeting link. That's another way to use your Teams just to record yourself. You don't have to worry about downloading it, uploading it because it's automatically saved and ready for your students to view inside OneDrive. The next step is how to create recurring Microsoft Teams meetings inside Canvas. So here I am in my Canvas calendar. All the way to the right hand side, I have this plus icon. I'm going to go ahead and select my sandbox to add this recurring meeting. I'm going to click on more options here. I'm going to name it as sample recurring meeting. Why not? And here you can see I have the apps icon. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here I have my Microsoft Teams meeting. I am going to create a meeting link. The title will also be sample recurring meeting. Why not? And it's a November 10th. Um, let's just say, yeah, 6 p.m. That's absolutely fine with me. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. I'm going to copy it. And once I come to the bottom here, I'm going to click on use a different date. And here I'm going to pick a date, November 10th. Start time is 6 p.m. And end time is... 7 p.m. and here I want to duplicate it because I want this to be a recurring event. I'm going to click on duplicate and I want it to duplicate once every week and for three times. And I even want to number my events. So I'm just going to click on number each event and I'm going to click create. And once the event has successfully created here, you can see sample recurring events. You know what? Let me go ahead, uncheck my other courses so you can only see uh, the sample recurring meeting. And as you can see, this is meeting one, meeting two, meeting three. When my students hover over this, they can exactly see that the sample meeting is from six to seven. When they click on it, they can actually join the meeting from right here, even without going into their courses, logging into the announcements or pages. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learn how to integrate your Microsoft Teams Office 365 tools inside Canvas. And you also learn how to use your Teams link to screen record for your students. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know there could be an educator who might be missing Teams in their face-to-face -face classes. Did you know we now have a Facebook link where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? I will leave the link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, technology, and Canvas playlist. Don't forget to check them out. And please don't forget to comment in the comment section below what you like and what you dislike about this video. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.